today we are reading How to Hide an Octopus and Other Sea Creatures by Ruth Heller. If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view, although they're right in front of you. As quick as a wink, it turns to pink or green or blue or any hue. And if you think that's not enough, its skin can turn from smooth to rough. This creature is an octopus and very often hides by changing to the color over which it glides. Do you see the octopus? Its relative, the cuttlefish, could do the same if he should wish. The stripes that he is sporting show that he's been courting, but he can make them fade away slowly or without delay. Do you see the cuttlefish? The sargassum fish, grotesque at best, looks just like its seaweed nest. Do you see the sargassum fish? The giant red sea dragon, the most bizarre of all the creatures seen so far, with ribbons of skin that grow from its chin and from its belly and back. They spread from its head and trail from its tail. And it's easy to see why its enemies fail to find where it feeds among the red weeds. Do you see the giant red sea dragon? The shrimp fish hides and lives and dines head down among the sea urchin's spines. How many shrimp fish do you see? Heads up, the pipefish like to play and with the grasses drift and sway. Where do you see pipefish? The butterfly fish has been designed to make it very hard to find. Can you find him? The decorator crab is drab and will not rest until it's dressed. So it proceeds to don some weeds and barnacles and sponge you see and even an anemone. Because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So, some of them use camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predators. But predators to live must eat, so also fade away and are discreet. And then their prey on which they sup can't see who's going to eat them up. Thanks for learning about all of these amazing animals with me. Subscribe to hear some more read-alouds.